remember to subscribe so you don't miss out on more awesome content. What's up guys? So we're going to start our weekly Rebels recap with episode 2, not episode 1, since I was away for episode 1. Um, by now most of you have probably already seen episode 1, so that's why I'm not going to do it. But first off, I want to say that Star Wars Rebels did a great job at not spoiling anything in the season 3 uh, trailer that they showed and a lot of the clips. Um, a lot of them were from episode 1 and 2 and I love it, love it, love it because now I don't know what to expect in later later episodes so that's, that's just really great. So episode 2 focuses heavily on Maul trying to unite the Jedi and Sith holocrons because putting them together will grant a clarity into the force that will answer any question basically turning it into a magic lamp of some sort. Um, this is all according to our favorite neutral force being Bendu, who was introduced in episode one and is now a fan favorite all of a sudden. Bendu still has the Sith holocron in safekeeping from when Kanan gave it to him to protect Ezra from the influence of the dark side, because Ezra was using the Sith holocron to help him destroy the Sith. Um, and like the Sith Holocron, the Jedi Holocron is now out of reach from Maul aboard the Ghost. So, in order to remedy that, Maul kidnaps Sabine and the rest of the Ghost crew and retrieves the Jedi Holocron. But of course, he cannot open the Jedi Holocron himself. He needs an actual Jedi to open that for him. Maul struggles to open the Jedi Holocron. Kanan and Ezra are trying to retrieve the Sith Holocron for Maul so he can release their friends from captivity by going into the nest of crawlers that Bendu has stored it for safekeeping. And by the way, I hate those crawlers because I have a fear of spiders. I, oh my God, they freak me the hell out. Those are nightmarish. Um, but anyway, they go through their own trial and this scene really shows off that although Kanan is blind and the things he learned from Bendu about the crawlers and taming them, it just really shows off how well he's gotten at Taming the crawlers, the one thing Ezra could not do, because Ezra had an ability for taming or talking to animals through the force, and the one things he couldn't were, were the crawlers, and now Kanan has pretty much mastered that. He escorts them through the, the crawler nest, retrieves the holocron, and escorts them back out. So Kanan and Ezra escape the nest with the Sith holocron and go to rendezvous with Maul, who still has their friends hostage. After Ezra is told to wait in another room, Maul escorts Kanan and tries to shove him out of an airlock and then tells his crazy psycho droids to go kill the ghost crew going back on his word. Kanan survives and rescues the ghost crew before the droids can kill them. As the crew walk in on Ezra and Maul, getting their questions answered through the force, Maul's is only hinted at by Hope, while Ezra's question is noted as clearly wanting to know the key to destroying the Sith once and for all. But more on the visions in the next video. Kanan, with the help of the Holocron's huge force emittance, can see Ezra and tells Ezra to look away before he gains the knowledge from the Holocrons that Bendu warned would always come at a price. Therefore, shutting down the Holocrons before Maul or Ezra could fully find the answers to their questions. Maul, of course, escapes, muttering he's alive in a very untelling way. But more on that in the next video as well. This episode really pushed Ezra back to the light side in my opinion from his dark side corruption in the first episode. He even resisted using the Sith Holocron to help them against Maul when he had the chance to. Do I think he'll stay that way the whole season? No, I don't. Um, the whole premise of the season about Ezra's balance between light and dark still seems to be there for me and especially because he's searching for a way to destroy the Sith. Um, even though it is noble intentions, as Bendu said, some go down the path of the dark side for the noblest of reasons. And I think his struggle in finding the answer to destroying the Sith is going to be testing his balance between light and dark. And so I still think that premise is still there. So what did you guys think about episode two of season three? Let me know in the comments and I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, remember to share and subscribe for more content.